In this video, I'm going to be talking about Glutanimate, who's the developer behind some of the most important Anki flashcard plugins that are the most popular out there. So uh, one of them is Image Occlusion Enhanced. This is where you take an image that labels a bunch of different things and you cover each of the labels and that turns into there's six occlusions or covers here that'll turn into six separate flashcards. And you'll see this on the front and on the back, it'll uh, show you what's ever on the other side of one of these. So it's sort of a bulk image uh, Anki flashcard creator. And it's been used a huge amount, uh, very popular in the medical school Anki community because you have all these diagrams from the textbooks you're going through and you need to memorize what each of the different parts are within each image. Another really popular one is review heat map. So I've talked in other videos about how med school students are often doing Anki two to three hours per day for, you know, one to two years. So this kind of heat map really helps. Another really important one is close overlapper. And I've talked, and you can uh, watch my interview with Prerok Juthani. Uh, he's one of the top Anki experts, especially in the medical school community, but most of this stuff transfers to any field. Um, the idea here is you need to memorize a list. And the difficult thing about it is they're just sort of, it's, it's not like a single piece of information. And so how do you split it up without making, how do you make sure you're memorizing the list and not each individual component? Because a list is just too overwhelming. There's too much information. So what it does is you insert a list and then it turns it into a, uh, a combination of things that makes it easier to memorize. So you get a few hints. So it's not too little information or too, too little context, but it's not too much information. It's not too much context. So th it's another very, very important um, plugin and piece of technology within Anki because it allows you to efficiently memorize lists of things. And that's something that a lot of people have said, oh, well, you, you know, Anki can't be used for more complicated stuff because it can't handle lists because they're too hard. And this is what solves that problem. So he's made a lot of contributions. Um, he's got a Patreon with a ton of um, supporters, over 900 supporters. He's got a Twitter here. And he's got a YouTube channel where he explains how a bunch of his different um, plugins work. And if you watch videos by different med school med tubers and they're talking about Anki, I guarantee you 80 to 90% of them are using at least one of these plugins. So, and there's nobody else who creates plugins at the rate that he does and has such a, had such a big impact. So, um, he's also got other, you can read this if you want an explanation, um, he hasn't of who he is and, and where his name came from. Um, he hasn't been publishing as much lately in the last year or two. And I think that's because he uh, gra probably graduated from med school and is actually a doctor now. So he started um, putting this stuff out, I think in 2016. And so we're now in 2022. He hasn't really put much on uh, Twitter in the last couple of years. It's been pretty light. Um, so, and same thing with YouTube. It's been about four years. So 2022 now, so you're going back to 2018. So I... Th he may have said somewhere, you know, his, you know, his whole timeline and stuff, but, um, I think he graduated med school probably a year or two ago and has put this stuff on the back burner, but he has had a huge impact. You know, you can see his website 2019. 
but he's just had a huge impact and uh, written some of the most important plugins in the Anki space. So I recommend you check out his YouTube channel and take a quick look at each of his videos because he's done a video on each of his most important um, Anki plugins. And uh, they're some of the most important plugins in the space. So that's it for this video. Let me know if there's other uh, Anki developers that you think I should include in the canon. Um, if you think there's any others that are at Glutanimate's level. Um, I don't know of any other ones, but I could be missing something. Uh, let me know if you think there's just any other resources in the Anki community that are worth uh, putting in here. I was thinking about doing, you know, one of the Anki decks, but I think it's, I don't think it's worth doing something that's too specific to just the med school, uh, you know, the boards and beyond, for example. I don't think it's worth getting into that because it's, it's not applicable to most people. Um, but if you think there's anything else in the Anki community that's worth uh, doing a canon entry on, let me know. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to get more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.